Tinako Tokato, no my Heidi Mikey, Oti Poti. Welcome to Dunedin Forsyth Bar Stadium, the venue tonight as Otago play host to Taranaki as week six continues in the Bunnings NPC. Jeff McTache on the call tonight. Alongside me, former All Black, Jeff Wilson. Tēnā koe, Jeff. Kia ora, Joey side on Tēnā koutou katoa. Well, with the season, a little clear up for all the teams after decisions made from New Zealand rugby. Taranaki, they head south with a perfect record in control of the championship. So, Ricky Riccitelli, early line out Taranaki. They send up Soak Kula. He too has had a solid season for the Amber and Blacks, and it is there at the back of this mall. Otago try and sort Don't themselves out on defence. Riccitelli now creeping forward. So Akula Stay behind here. him in support, how he's got it. OK, use it now, Lloyd. And Wanga says use it, so Logan Crowley does. Thank oh, you. Te Warden Bonus. puts a kick Thank through. You. And Sam Gilbert will clean up, but he was Come playing on, the advantage. He'll come Thank back you. for a penalty to Taranaki. Number 12, early. Stephen Perofeta for the first points of the game. No problems. Four minutes gone in Dunedin, and it's the visitors, Taranaki, who lead three points to nil. Gordon again trying to get over it. C.O. Tompkinson, but he's brushed off. And now Potros to Lord. Can't get around the Otago defence and Dylan Nell. Crowley, another advantage. And he's close to the touchline. Flag up. Number eight. But Dan Wanger was here. playing the advantage Buckley and uh, the Dylan Nell was offside. <laughs> Pedal Feta tries to fade it round. Flags up. So two penalty goals for Stephen Pedal Feta. <laughs> Gilbert up in the line. Freedom Baha Kolo plays half back. Trying to break through officially. And ball loose, and Dan Wyinger awards the penalty. No, 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 no. You've caused it. Really sharp there from Otago. Joey looked really sharp. you got to call it as you're catching yeah, it. Yeah, didn't it? Players in motion. Josh Uane, bang in front, and on target. <laughs> oh, bound for the Chiefs next season. Flat ball for Josh Ioannet, just on the 22. They've got an advantage here. That's against Finn Huyata. Otago, seven phases inside Taranaki's 22. Ioannet puts a little kick through, and it sits there for Stephen Perofeta. But Dan Wanger saw no advantage. He'll come back, and this will be great field position. Ioannet. Makes good contact and on target once more. So six points apiece. Don't wait, vaccinate. Go out and get your double jab. There for Crowley and Lord. Sold the dummy and then put his head down into the Otago defence. Potros thought about the inside pass. Jason Potros gets it away. Tarangi Warden close. He's over, is he? Try scored. What an outstanding piece of play from... Jason Potros just showing the ball. Tay Warden is the benefactor. But it's wonderfully done. Just holding the ball in two hands. And Taranaki, like I said, the weight of possession. Territory right part of the field. And then executing beautifully. Just watch this, though. Ball here. Good support runners. Dixon gets well and truly sucked in. And then with momentum, try a score. Yeah, Tom Florence waiting through. Crowley to Potros. A little short ball for Ricky Riccitelli. Dylan Nell trying to get over it. And Dan Wanger agrees. Great work from the number eight, Dylan Nell. Jackson to the back this time for Josh Dixon. And James Lynch is the captain. You want that little short ball there, and breaking through is Ray Nuu. Ray Nuu in the 22. Cover coming across. Taranaki scrambling, a Tago score. Simple things done well. Give it to guys who can break the line and stay in support. And the great decision to offload off the ground. Not done a lot these days because so many players get in on the ball, but great awareness, great support from Tomkinson. 
It's just what a target needed. You're talking about Tom Donnelly being happy at 13-6. He'll be ecstatic at 13 all. This is outstanding. Flat line, Potros goes too high and then accelerates through. Does no good decision here. Looks for support, pops it up. Great try. So half time at Forsyth Bar Stadium to try a piece. It is 13 all. Otago and Taranaki. Potros cut out ball for Lord. Jermaine Ainsley and Dixon on defence, but good leg drive from Taranaki. And Otago win the penalty. To give Otago the lead, Josh Uane. And uh, that one's away. Poyata goes up. Fell awkwardly, but Dan Wang has said contest good at Finn Hoyata. He didn't move from the moment he went down. He goes to the air. Oh, yeah, it was landed on heavily on that left shoulder. Well, Sam Fishley was in there. Hard to tell, though, Goldie, whether uh, there was anything illegal from Otago. You can't lift him. You, you can't lift your six across. Your six has gone across and into him and caused him to fall like that. No, no, no. So bring your six, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring your six. Bring your six, please. I can see why James Nietzsche has aggrieved. Yeah, Looked to me him. to be a pretty fair contest. Gone into him and caused him he hasn't intentionally come across the... For going across the line. that glass and... Here comes the weight from Taranaki there, though, for Nell off the back. And therefore, Ascot now, you are net. Gilbert shifts it along. Fredenbar, Kolo gets around. Kenny Nahulu who slips on the turf. Fredenbar, Kolo. Back and foul. Oh, just can't quite find C.O. Tompkinson, but Nell cleans up. And here come Otago with 14 men. You are net. Spinning it away. Villamone Koroi. Dancing with the defence, tries to get around Josh Lord, and he's taken into touch. Villa Monikuroi, just for a moment, showing the danger he poses in the 11 jumper. Taranaki, again, happy to keep it in the boot. Sawakula twisting around. They've got an advantage. Peter Gus Sawakula sets off. He'll score the second. Some great attacking talent on the field, and Peter Gus Sowakula is one of those players, dynamic in the open field, but you give him half a gap and he can take the opportunity. Otago pushed really hard on their tight head side, and it just meant that all of a sudden, plenty of space through the middle of the park, and Sowakula scores. Oh, it was a brilliant turn of pace from Sowakula. We here. Big line out Otago Jackson. Up goes Tucker there for Dixon. Now Lecce's Freedom Bar Kolo gets it off the back of the mall. Here come Otago. Dixon goes into contact. He's a meter out. Josh Dixon. Last got pleading with Dan Wanger. Takes a close look. They're over right on the arm. And no one deserved it more. Dylan Nell. No one was holding the ball. He hit the ball and he just let it go. No, no, no. He had the ball and he let it go. It was great work in the line-out. There's a lot of questions being no, asked. The fact the Taranaki were expecting to get a penalty. They stopped playing. Good carry from Dixon. He's jumped over. He's jumped into the tackle, though. Slater's on the ball. He's not on the ball. He's on the body. Expecting a penalty. <laughs> Try scored. Oh, it was a really strange passage of play. Joined with Christchurch Boys High School. And here he is. First class rugby, Fabian Holland. And first scrum. And they have an advantage here. Taranaki Crowley. Ratamatabuki Nikkins, the wee kick. Pass over to this left wing. Kenny Nohulu and Gilbert's done well there. Number one. Number one on your knee. Early. But again, another scrum penalty against Otago. That tells me that they're thinking this game is going to go right down to the wire and three points right now. Incredibly valuable. So Stephen Petafeta, 14 to go in Dunedin. No problems from the fullback. And Taranaki now, the three-point lead over Otago. That's a great kick. This is pure and simply about holding on to the ball now. 
Again, pressure, Taranaki, but this time, Wainga awards the penalty at scrum time to Otago, and Jared Prophet is the one that's pinged. And that's the value of experience in Josh Honick. Coming on, I think, Joey. Ioane has had a good night off the tee. On target once more. And once more, we're squared up in Dunedin, 23 points apiece. Applied again. And they carry forward through Sunny Revy. Potros waits. That's where Blyde goes, and Potros takes the money, cuts through, ball back on the inside, and Blyde will score! He's been brilliant tonight, Jason Potros. And Liam Blyde gets their third. And this game could be defined by two pieces of play for Taranaki in terms of their attack. Jason Potros showing the ball, putting the ball in two hands, attacking a seam. The opportunity for him to find support on the inside from Blyde that's outstanding and simple rugby. Recycle Otago searching for a try and try and level this game. Ascot pleading for the offside. Honick to ground. Ascot again. Josh Dixon runs into Josh Lord. Tackle made, have to release. So now Nell. Ball out the back for Ioane, a big hit coming in on Nu'u, and ball to ground from Ioane. The advantage Taranaki lost forward. And that'll be full time in Dunedin. Taranaki win their fifth, 30 points to 23. But did it the hard way, Taranaki, they presented Otago with plenty of opportunity late in the game, but they were not quite good enough to take it. Taranaki, top of the table in the championship, and deservedly so.